This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Ghosts moving with the mouse. In this level, let's see. Oh, doesn't work yet. Okay. In this level, you'll make the ghost move either left or right, depending on the position of the mouse pointer. In the example shown, if the mouse pointer is on the left, the ghost moves right. Oh, the opposite is also true. So if the mouse is on the left, the ghost goes right. Else, otherwise, the ghost goes left. Write at least two if statements to check for the location of the mouse. Make the ghost move in different directions for each mouse location. Oh, okay, so we're not going to use else, we're going to use if. Well, two direct, so I'll do, I guess, what they do, which is left and right. All right. So they already have, the, oh, they already have counter patterns. So why is our ghost not moving? Here, let me drag this out of here. Our ghost is about to be moving. Because now, every time this runs, the draw loop runs 30 times a second, super fast. Let's talk about the counter pattern. And what this says is ghost.x equals ghost.x minus 5. So what it means is the ghost's x value has a new number. It's now equal to whatever the ghost.x's old value was. And if we just started the program, the old value is 200. So 200 minus 5. So the new value is 195. We draw the sprite slightly over on the screen. We hit the bottom of our draw loop. Draw loop runs 30 times a second. We go back around. And now ghost.x has another new value. Its new value is its old value, which was 195 minus 5. So it's 190. And we draw the sprites. We loop around and around and around. If I have this in there, though, right? Well, now I'm adding 5, I'm subtracting 5, then I'm adding 5. I'm not moving at all. So let's put in, it said we need at least two if statements. And it didn't say else, so I'm going to put in ifs. And what did it want us to check? Well, the position on the screen. They, for some reason, did the opposite. If the mouse pointer is on the left, the ghost moves right. Okay, so I guess the ghost is scared of mice. <laughs> How do we check where the mouse pointer is? Okay, if the mouse is on the left, well, what is this? Ghost minus x minus 5. If I'm subtracting from x, you can tell by hovering over the screen. If I'm subtracting from x, I'm going to the left. So this would be left. And so if I'm adding, I'm going to the right. So let's do math. If it is greater than, and then for left, right? If it is less than, Oh, wait, no, because we're doing the opposite. It's so confusing. Greater than, less than. Okay. And then we need to know the mouse's x location, which should be here. Yep. So if the mouse's x value is greater than, uh, let's do the center of the screen, which should be 200, right? So if it's greater than 200, it's on the right side of the screen. And I'm going to push that uh, the ghost to the left. So if it's greater than 200, now, we should be careful here, because if my mouse is exactly at 200, it won't move, which we could be okay with. Um, I guess I'll be. So if it is less than 200, okay. And we could put a condition or an equal sign, but we'll leave it like that. So look what's happening. If it's over on this side of the screen, it goes that way. If I put it on this side, maybe it will come back. Yep. So what's happening is... 30 times a second, I'm asking the computer, hey, computer, if mouse.x is greater than 200. So I'm asking it, hey, is the mouse's x location greater than 200? Is it over here? If that is true, right, which it was, if that's true, then we're going to say ghost's new x value is its old minus 5. Then we go down here and we check this if. So both times we're checking each of these. This, though, would not be true. We just said my mouse's x value is greater than 200. So this would be false. If an if is false, it does not run this code, right? My x value is greater than 200. It's not less than. That's false. It doesn't run that code. We redraw the sprite, and it would be moving to the left if my mouse is greater than 200. However, if it's less than 200, this is false. It could not run that code. It checks this. That's true. And it runs it. Zoop, zoop, speedy ghost. Onward.